Hello, everyone. Today, I will share a very interesting topic about psychosocial hazard. What is psychosocial hazard? Psychosocial hazards in the workplace are related to the psychological and social conditions of the workplace rather than just the physical conditions. Workers are likely to be exposed to a combination of organizational stress. Work content includes the amount and pace of work, flexibility and the extent of employee control as major challenges to occupational safety and health as well as productivity. What are the causes of organizational stress? Firstly, is job mismatch. Job mismatch is defined as a worker in a job that does not correspond with his or her level of qualifications as defined by their education, skills, knowledge and abilities. Examples of job mismatch are Over or under skills. This is when workers have skills above or below those required for the job. Next example is over or under qualification. This is when the level of education is higher or lower than the level expected in the job. Next example is horizontal mismatch. Horizontal mismatch is when workers are educated in another particular field of work. Next example is skills obsolescence. This is when workers lose their skills over time due to lack of use or skills irrelevant due to changes in the world of work. Another example is earning mismatch. This is when workers are unable to earn enough money to meet their needs. Lastly is a geographical obsolescence. It is a geographic barrier that prevents a person from seeking and assessing a suitable job. Another cause of organizational stress is lack of job control. Lack of job control is defined as a person's inability to influence what happens in their work environment and matters that are relevant to their personal goals. Examples of lack of job control are Unnecessary levels of supervision Employees often view supervision and surveillance as invasion of privacy and distrust by the management. Next example is lack of autonomy. It is when employees have little influence in how they meet their work demands and how they perform their work in general. Another example is excessive responsibility with little authority. It is when workers are accountable for the work of others but with no accompanying cloud. Lastly is low control over workflow. It is when a set of processes that needs to be accomplished is poor and there is a lack of interactions among the workers. To conclude, exposure to work-related psychosocial hazards has been demonstrated to have a possible detrimental impact on employees' physical, psychological and social health and the resiliency of the organisations. It is recommended in practice to prevent and manage stress in the workplace before it becomes a risk to the health and safety.